Hello, Cambridge College faculty. My name is Brooks Winchell, the director of the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Um, and you can see my email on the screen below. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me. But in this video, I'm going to show, give you a brief overview of my CC, what it looks like on the inside and where to find some different things. And then we're going to look specifically at the faculty tab and talk about how you can manage some aspects of your course through the faculty tab, such as printing out your rosters, um, entering your textbook information, and entering your final grades after classes are over. So the first thing you want to do is log into MyCC. And if you haven't set up your account yet, take a look at the first video that I made that's uh, about accessing your technology at Cambridge College, and that'll show you how to get onto MyCC. So you want to log on to the MyCC web page. And this is what MyCC looks like when you first log in. So you'll see across the top there are several different uh, tabs. And on the left there are several different pages. Um, and the pages are uh, just quick links and then on the middle there's some other links. So uh, this in this portal um, this person hasn't been on yet and so they haven't configured their Rave Alert. So one of the first things you want to do when you log on if you haven't configured a Rave Alert is you want to go to Rave Alert and set that up. And once you set that up this Rave Alert will disappear. So Rave Alerts will actually send you um, uh, text messages if the college is closed or anything. It won't send you text messages for anything else. So it's definitely worth setting up your Rave user portlet. Plus it makes that little thing on the screen go away. So it'll ask you just for your phone numbers and things like that and then click Save. Um, let me go back to the home page. So you'll notice that when I went back to the home page it looks a little bit different because all of the resources that were originally laid out on the page got uh, all put under these quick links over here. But it's all the same things that we originally saw. So on the main page there's announcements for college-wide announcements. There's course search where you could search for classes. Um, that might be helpful if you want to check your enrollments in your classes. There's um, registration pro portal for students, making payments is for students. Uh, the online library you can access through there. Direct help. Uh, has, has some advice about using MyCC. And then direct links is actually where you can go for some of your more important links. So direct links has links to tutoring, so students can access online tutoring here. There's also a tutoring schedule here students can access. Plus you can see the academic cal calendar, the catalog here, and there's information about disabilities and student job opportunities and things. Um, so on the left, so configure Rave Alerts if you haven't. Um, there's also uh, resources under here, which is uh, uh, so basically the same things that we just looked at under resources there. Tutor Me is again tutoring. Campus Advisory will be alerts. Under Quick Links, My Pages, you can set up whatever pages you want to set up in here as Quick Links. There's also My Courses. My Courses will show your current courses. So this is actually the fastest way to get into your course portlet, is come to My Courses and click Login. There's also CC Gmail, which is a link to the Gmail account, but you can also go straight to Gmail. Um, there's IT Help Desk. IT Help Desk is where you would put in tickets if you have uh, issues with technology here. Um, TaskStream is for School of Education uh, faculty members. Across the top, you can see the main pages, right? So there's the home page, which we just looked at. That'll always bring you back to this main page with the resources. There's registration. Registration is where students would go to register for classes, but you can also check classes on here. But this is mostly for students. Academics is also mostly for students. Um, that's how they would access their classes for your course portlet. But you'll also be able to see your classes uh, listed in academics here too. And you can get in through course port into your course portlet through that academics tab too. So here you can click on the course code and get right into that. Um, but mostly that's for students. The library will link you to the online library. And there's tons of resources on here. Uh, and in another video, I'll show you about the online library and what you can access there. Just click this link right here, and it'll launch the online library in a new tab. Um, and you can search the databases that the college subscribes to, uh, which is a great resource for teaching. And there's several videos and things in here, too. Student services is where you can access information about student resources. So there's the Dean of Students, Office of Disability and International Office links here. 
Also the CELT, my office is here. There's some links and some information about the CELT and tutoring. Um, advising, you won't have on yours generally, but that would be for students as well. Academic resources has some resources for faculty. There's not a lot and it's not completely updated, but there are, uh, you can go into the specific schools and find some forms. You can also find faculty forms on here for like guest lecture sheets or requests for checks. Those are things you might want to use. Here's an incomplete agreement if you want to finish uh, coursework. Uh, give a student incomplete and have them finish coursework. Here's a couple of other uh, instruction items here. Um, so faculty will come back to. Tutorials, that's the most important tab. Tutorials is where you'll find some videos. There's more videos over here. And actually, if you click videos for faculty, you can find more videos on there. And under more, planning is like institutional planning. The provost puts notes uh, over here, and there's information about, you know, NEASC visits and things like that. And there's personal is you can do whatever you want with it. That's customizable. So let's go back to faculty. Faculty is the most important tab. So if you click the faculty tab, you'll see that um, there's a couple of different things in the middle here. There's grade entries. That's where you enter your grades. There's also all my courses. So this, this again, just like the academics tab, will link you into your course portlet. There's also faculty news. So faculty news is things that, that the CELT usually sends out to faculty uh, with information about upcoming events or things you might be interested in. The provost keeps all of her notes on the provost page. Faculty resources is where we collect different teaching resources for faculty and institute for faculty excellence is where we put information about faculty professional development. My CC course setup training is under the process of being revised, but this is where you can actually access some videos and information about setting up your MyCC course portlet. Um, so this works for now. It's definitely worth using. Um, let's go back to faculty. <clears throat> so under faculty course control, that's where you're going to manage your course. You can see right now it says no courses are available. And the reason no courses are available is because in the middle of the semester, it flips over to the next semester. Uh, so the current courses aren't shown on here. So if you're accessing this later in the semester, if you're access, a, accessing this at the beginning of the semester, you'll be able to see your course here. If you're accessing it at the end of the semester, you're going to have to click View My Faculty Schedule and change it back to the current semester. And that will allow you to see your course under course control. So you probably want to go back to the faculty tab after you reset that. And you can see under course control, you have your course with some links here. So these links are where you're going to get details about your course. Course details tells you the times of the course. Uh, times of the course, it'll often tell you the rooms of the course, the days of the course, the number of students in here. Go back to course control. Um, course list, class list will give you your roster. So in the first or second week of the semester, you want to check your roster and make sure that all the students who are coming are registered and all the students who are registered are coming. And you want to send an email to the registrar's office at registrar at cambridgecollege.edu to just confirm that all of your students are coming. Um, so that's where you can get your roster and you can get a printable version of it by clicking this printer here. So let me go back to faculty course control. Notice that I'm using these breadcrumbs instead of hitting the back key. The back button doesn't always work, so you want to use the breadcrumbs to find your way back. And then under grade entry, this is where you'll enter final grades. So after the class is over, come here, click grade entry. And then you can select the grades for your students, whatever they earned. If you're in a school, a graduate school, you only have the option of A, B, C, no, A, A minus, B plus, B, or F. Undergraduate will have the full range. If you give a student an F or a non-passing grade, you have to put in their last date of attendance and uh, the number of absences they had, and then just click Save. And that's how you submit final grades after uh, the class is over. Go back to faculty course control one more time. Also under faculty course control is textbooks. So textbooks you want to enter at as soon as registration opens. We ask all faculty to enter their textbook information. And that's so students, who, as they're registering for classes, can search their textbooks. 
So you want to, as soon as you get assigned a class or as soon as the class is live on MyCC, log in, click the Faculty tab, go to Course Control, and go to Textbooks. And you're going to want to add a new textbook to your course. So you can either search existing textbooks if you think it might already be in the system, or add a new textbook. That'll give you the option to put in the title, the publisher, all of that, pricing, save it, and then that attaches that textbook to your course. Um, so the nice thing about doing that is if you add your textbooks before classes start, while students are registering, you can and should expect them to be able to get that textbook before classes start. Also, that's a requirement for financial aid because um, students should have access to their textbook information so they have option of buying textbooks from different sources before the class actually begins. So make sure you do that as soon as you're assigned your class. Let me go back to faculty. Um, so that's pretty much the faculty uh, tab and uh, my CC overview. A few other things to note here. There's syllabus generator training, which we're going to do another, there's going to be another video on this one. There's also some more links here to help desk. And there's a refer a student. If you have a student who's struggling, you can click this and uh, send a referral to the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Um, so that's the faculty tab overview. You know, if you have any uh, trouble with it, again, my name is Brooks Winchell. I'm the director of the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Um, thanks.